Hey y'all, and welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, welcome. But where have you been? I'm so happy to see you here. My name is Valerie, and in today's video, I thought I'd share what an afternoon of cooking and cleaning looks like around here. So if you're interested, I hope you can stick around and enjoy the video. We've had a busy couple of weeks around here since my husband retired. Well, technically he has one more day to go and then he'll be officially retired. But anyway, since he's been home, we spent the time looking for a house to buy and we did some work around the trailer. But I haven't actually been able to clean the trailer since my last cleaning video and it's gotten really messy around here. I finally had some free time to get in here and get this place back in order. I'm going to be cleaning the kitchen and the living room and preparing dinner. I have last night's dinner dishes and this morning's breakfast dishes to wash. I need to sweep, mop, vacuum, dust, clean the windows, and my husband is going to cut some shelves to go in my small pantry closet. So if you're ready, let's just go ahead and get into the video. It's late afternoon here. I've just spent the morning running errands with my husband. We had to go to get the truck inspected, run to the post office, and then we went to get lunch. He has to go back to Northern Virginia tomorrow for his last day of work, and then he'll be officially retired. After running errands all morning, we're finally back home, and I had time to clean up this mobile home, and I'm going to get started by washing up all these dirty dishes.
After washing the dishes, I cleared off the counters and cleaned the stove. I used the pink stuff on the stove top, and I really like how good it works. And after all the counters in the stove is cleaned, I'm going to go ahead and take out the garbage. Oh, we're still here, flipping coins about what's to come. It starts getting cold, and we don't know any way. Out of here, we try to understand how it all started to go wrong. But the sea is way too deep. While I've been busy cleaning, my husband's been going around and assessing the rest of the repairs that we need to do here in the mobile home. And he was out talking to the manager about getting the rest of the supplies that we're going to need to finish the work. Once he was through, I got him to come in here and cut some more shelves for me to go in the pantry closet that's over here beside the fridge. I ordered this pantry on Amazon, and it's exactly what I needed. Unfortunately, it only came with two adjustable shelves, so he's going to go ahead and cut two more shelves to provide more storage.
just one more item marked off our to-do list. Only a hundred more items to go. No, really, it feels like the list just keeps growing. Pretty soon we're going to need to take out the AC units from the windows and put plastic over the windows to help prevent cold air from coming in this winter. And we need to put weather stripping around the front door. We're thinking about buying a pellet stove to use in the mobile home. My husband is worried about losing electricity this winter and doesn't want to be reliant on the electric heat. So right now we're really focused on getting the old mobile home weather tight before winter gets here. Cleaning the kitchen took a lot longer than it should have because of all the dishes and cutting shelves for the pantry, but at least it's all done now. The laundry room back door area is hopeless at this point. It's become a store all and will probably stay that way at least until we can finish the laundry room renovations and get a washer and dryer. Okay y'all, I'm going to move on into the living room where I need to dust, sweep, mop, vacuum, and clean the windows where Max keeps leaving his nose prints all over the glass while looking outside. He loves to stand on the back of the couch and just stare out the window. I know he would love to be outside running around through the woods, but it's not safe since it's now hunting season. When we got Max, he was used to running loose around the mobile home park, and you can tell he would much rather be outside running around. He gets so bored without the kids around. My husband and I love on him and give him lots of attention, but it's not the same as when the boys take him outside to run around and get all the zoomies out. y'all i finally got a vacuum cleaner i haven't had a vacuum in a couple of years now since we didn't have any carpet in the townhouse until literally the day the boys and i were moving out we had carpet installed the day the boys and i were moving out of the townhouse and up to the mountains so my husband needed to go out and buy a vacuum cleaner it's a eureka power speed bagless upright vacuum and it works on bare floors and low carpet it's perfect for the area rug in the living room, and I can also run it over the bare floors to help cut down on sweeping. So far, I'm really happy with it. Live your life. 
right within the moment, moment And don't go wait until the morning, morning You never know when it is over, over All that I know is we'll get older, older So let us dance this night away We get lost in the crowd, it's getting thicker We get away, get away from the drinks and chatter Haven't said a word, but it doesn't matter Feel the air get thinner Standing in a blurry dream No one else can see us Live your life within the moment Stands this side away
since this is a realistic clean with me video, I should let you know I ran out of time to clean the bathrooms and to fold the laundry that's piled up in my room. But at least the kitchen and living room is nice and clean and just in time for me to start dinner. Tonight we're having chicken in the Instant Pot, Brussels sprouts, rice, baked potatoes, and rolls with honey butter. I was really in the mood for baked potatoes, but some of my kids would prefer rice with their chicken, so I went ahead and made both tonight. <music> let's get this dinner started. I like to pull all the ingredients together and put them on the counter and the first thing I needed to do was wash the potatoes and wrap them in aluminum foil. I put them in a 350 degree oven for approximately one hour. Next I prepped the chicken for the instant pot. I trimmed off all the fat and seasoned with our favorite seasonings and then placed the chicken in the instant pot. I cooked it on high pressure for 35 minutes. using our favorite homemade barbecue rub on the chicken and I put it in the Instant Pot. I forgot to add liquid to the pot, but don't worry, the Instant Pot lets you know when there's no liquid in there because the bottom of the pan starts to overheat and the burn sensor comes on. You'll see me adding chicken broth to the pan after I'd already programmed the pot to start cooking. making some bacon bits for the baked potatoes. I started with a half a pound of bacon and cut it into tiny pieces. I then fried them in my cast iron skillet till they were nice and crispy. While the bacon was cooking, I got the Brussels sprouts ready to cook and started the rice. For the frozen Brussels sprouts, I just put about an inch of water in the bottom of the pan and then I added the Brussels sprouts. I bring the water to a boil and reduce the heat to a simmer and add a lid to allow them to steam till tender. I usually add a little salt and butter when they're done cooking, but I actually forgot to do that tonight.
For the rice, I bring four cups of water to a boil, and then I added two cups of long grain rice and covered with a lid. I reduced the heat to a simmer and cooked it for about 20 minutes. I've never been very good at baking rice. I usually use a rice cooker, but mine is broken, so I need to go out and buy another one because my rice always comes out a little bit mushy. I decided to go ahead and cook the whole pound of bacon. I've never been one to only cook two or three pieces of bacon at a time. Once I open a pound of bacon, I feel the need to cook all of it at once. Almost everything has started cooking. I have time to wash a few dishes. I'm a little burnt out on washing dishes today, but I know if I leave these dishes till tomorrow, that I'm going to be in the same boat trying to play catch up on the dirty dishes. So even though I've already washed a ton of dishes today, I'm going to push through and go in for round two. I've been waiting all my life for someone like you, like you. The second round of dishes are done and dinner is almost ready, so I'm going to go ahead and set the table. I just need to warm up the bread and pull all the food off the stove.
everything is finally starting to come together. The bread is now ready. We love this Sister Schubert's Parker House yeast rolls, especially with honey butter melted on top right as it comes out of the oven. The potatoes are ready to come out of the oven, so I'm going to go ahead and set up a little potato bar with butter, Colby Jack cheese, bacon bits, and sour cream. These potatoes were huge and could have been a meal all by themselves. I usually make more than we need, and I use the leftover potatoes to make home fries for breakfast the next morning. I dice up the potato and a little onion, and I brown it in olive oil till golden brown. Then I smother the hash browns with cheese and bacon bits, and man is it delicious. I'll have to share that recipe in a future video. Dinner's ready, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and start serving up the food, and I'm going to sit down and enjoy dinner with my family. Once we're finished, it will be time for round three of dishes. Still down when the sun 
Well, y'all, that about wraps it up for another video. I really hope y'all enjoyed it. My next one should be a renovation video. We plan on replacing the floor around the front door and patching the walls. So I hope y'all will subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos coming your way. Thank you all so much for being here and spending some time with me. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Talk to you later. Bye.